the biggest game that we've been playing this past week, which is Peter Jackson's... Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official video game of the movie. That's right. We've been playing, uh, we've been playing this, uh, for a while. Jeez, these people have full gameplay. Long play, long play. Alright, well, yeah, that's, that's what you gotta do, that's what you gotta do. This is the... That's, that, that, this is supposed to be, this is the PC version of the game. I didn't play the PC version of the game. I played the, um... You can tell how different it is with the loading screens are a little bit different. Um, but we played the PlayStation 2 version <clears throat> of, uh, King Kong... And, uh, it's, uh, it was, uh, actually a pretty good game. It was actually a pretty decent game, even by today's standards, which was pretty surprising to me. I, I was, like, I was caught off guard with how good the game was, you know? Um, it, it has, sure, it has a few dated controls, like the King, especially with King Kong, the, the controls are seen a little bit more dated than, uh, than, uh, I would have expected, but, um, yeah, it's still a, actually a, a very good game, uh, even by today's standards, and I think that if they did a, uh, you know, a, um, a remaster of this game, I think that it would go over pretty well. I think that, uh, this game could, uh, could, it, you know, ignite, ignite, in, uh, ignite some more love for the King, for King Kong, you know, especially with the new Kong vs. Godzilla movie coming out. <clears throat> I think that it would be a perfect time to re-release this. Maybe, or maybe, maybe more so that they want the, uh, you know, maybe like the 25th anniversary of the King Peter Jackson's King Kong. They could do a remaster of of this game. I don't know. Seems unlikely, but you never know. Uh, anyways, the game itself is actually pretty good. It just it pretty much follows along the events of the movie. Uh, of course, it's a little bit different. I think it follows more of like a the book rather than the movie itself. Um, but still, it's a it's a very fine game. It's like a it's like a fine wine, you know. As it ages, it gets better. I don't know about that exactly, but uh, it's still it's still a fun fun game. So, if you didn't know, King Kong is uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong has a uh, Jack Black in it and stuff like that, and they actually voice the characters in this game. So uh, that 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 makes the game a little bit uh, better as well. You know, you actually have Jack Black and people, you know voicing their own characters and stuff like that. Whoa, the PC version has has clips. Whoa. <laughs> um so, like I was saying, uh, the game has actually aged pretty well and I think that a lot of people who are fans of first-person shooters and stuff like that could could still probably find a lot of enjoyment out of this game. Uh like I said, even though the controls haven't like you know, they haven't aged as well as maybe I would hope that they would. Uh, I think that the shooting mechanics and stuff like that, spear throwing, it's all pretty well done. Level design could be... I mean, that that leaves a little bit to be desired, of course. Level design. Um, there's a few levels where, I mean, it's literally just, like, seconds of, of gameplay. You know, like, uh, there's the one level where it's called, like, the cave or something like that. And it's literally just you follow Anne through a cave for, like, five minutes and then she... Uh, talks to King Kong, and she's like, "Yo, oh, this is this is my friend Jack. He's okay." And then you move on, and the level ends. Like that's literally the whole level. But then you have some levels, like the one like that I'm showing now, and actually the level that's a little bit farther ahead of this one, where they go on for a while. There's the one level where you're you're kind of dodging the uh, giant dinosaurs. I forget what they're called, Bron brontosauruses or something like that. You're kind of dodging them a little bit, and you know you're you're trying to get through and get some fire, and you're supposed to get the fire all the way back and, and burn some things to get through. That level is a big level. It lasts for a while, and it's a pretty it's a it's a fun level. Don't get me wrong, but still, it's like the the ratio of of or the the you know the overall like time that it takes to do the levels a little bit unbalanced you know what i'm saying I, I feel like some levels go on for forever it seems then some levels are like okay you got to this area you kill a few monsters or bugs or something like that then you move on and that's the end of the level you know um but l luckily it's not like it's not that big of a deal you know i, I think that uh, they, there's enough levels that are long or medium size that uh counter the short levels in the game and i think that you know, if you find the game for five, ten bucks, you know, at your used store, I think that it's a great pickup, and uh, I think it's a perfect game to to just relive the nostalgia of the old days. You know, this game was made 
like, I think this was a launch title with the Xbox 360, um, but it was also for PC and GameCube as well, and PS2, I think it came on PS2, um, and it's, it's aged gracefully, it really has, it still plays great, I played the Xbox 360 version, um, I've also, I've played the GameCube version when I was a kid, and, you know, it was, it was still fine, you know, there are a few glitches that happened here or there, which you can find in the clip compilation that's gonna come out this Friday, uh, but the, those glitches were kind of funny, like one where the, the, um, the water monster, I think they're, they're kind of like crocodile type creatures, he morphed into a wall, that was kind of funny, uh, but other than that, you know, great, great game, I mean, rating, rating out of 10, do I do out of 10 or do I do out of 5 for video games, usually I do out of 5, so rating out of 5, I mean, this is like a 3.5, you know, it's, it's still a great game, uh, I'll buy it, some levels are short, uh, it's still it's still a fun game, and I think people can find a lot of enjoyment out of it, even to this day. Um, I don't know how the PC version is held up, but I can only speak from experience from the Xbox 360 version that we just played on livestream. The next livestream game that I want to play is um, Last of Us. I didn't put it up to a vote, uh, I because I really I just want to play the play the game. Uh, I've started it several times, and I just have not been able to get through it, uh, whether it be because, uh, you know, I, I, more, you know, new games came out that I started to play, like, I had it on PlayStation 3, right, I had it on PlayStation 3, and I started it, like, two times on PlayStation 3, one time, you know, I, I played it, and I was like, oh, this isn't really for me, and then I went back to it a year later, I was like, I might as well restart the game, you know, because I don't remember what happened, and then it, came out on it was like free for playstation plus but i had already bought it uh digitally for like two bucks on on a sale and i reinstalled it back when the sale originally happened and i didn't play it and then <laughs> you know um i uh i i or I, I installed it and i played like an hour of it and i was like okay i i i need I, there's new games coming out that i want to play and then it came out for free on playstation plus and even though i already had it i re-downloaded it then and i played like an hour of it and i was like oh you know i i got these other games that i want to play you know star wars just came out and i was like i really want to play star wars so this time that I start the game, we're bringing the PlayStation 4 upstairs, we're hooking it up to live stream, and we're playing it live, and I will get through it, okay? I'm I, I'm really interested in Last of Us Part 2, and as you guys know, I'm a, I'm a sucker for third-person shooters, so I, I'm really ex interested in playing through The Last of Us for the first time on live stream. After that, I already have another game lined up as well, but I'll reveal that game once we get close to the finishing Last of Us. Uh, like I said uh, on Discord, you know, I kind of wanted to start a game that I, you know, I'm, I, I just, I need to get done. You know, it's one of those games that's like, I can't leave it up to a vote. I have to get this game done. Ugh, excuse me, I have to get this game done. So, uh, w the voting will come back after we get done with The Last of Us. So don't, don't be like, oh, he's not going to do votes anymore. No, we'll, we'll bring back the voting system because I feel like that's a fair way of doing it. And really all the games that are in the vote are games that I want to play anyways, so it's like, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, we'll, 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 we'll continue that. Like, uh, we'll get back on topic here. King Kong, like I said, if you haven't played the game before, and you're interested in, in old school kind of first person shooters, this is a good game. It's a great game to, to play around with. It's got some puzzle elements in there. The level design is good enough. Um, I think that uh, the game really, like I said, like I keep saying, it's aged very well, and I think that the controls and everything kind of holds up. The only thing that I would say is a little bit lacking is the facial animations. You know, like there's at the end of the game, you know, Jack was just uh, um, was just standing there, or it was Carl? Carl was standing there by by uh, King Kong, he was dead on the ground, right, he fell off the Empire State Building, spoiler alert, um, and, uh, Jack, or, Carl was just standing there with this, like, this look on his face, like, and, uh, he was taught, like, the voice lines were happening, but, but he was, his mouth wasn't moving, then there's several moments where Anne is, like, right in your face, and she's talking to you, and her lips are just kind of, like, flapping, and you're like, this is not right, <laughs> Like I said, if they do a remaster of this game, update the facial stuff, keep the voice acting in there, update some of the graphical qualities, I think this could be a top seller, but they're not going to do that. Like I said, it's a slight possibility 
that when King, the Peter Jackson's King Kong movie reaches like a 20th anniversary or 25th anniversary or something like that, they might do something for it. But unfortunately, I don't think so. I don't think so. Although we got the Ghostbusters video game remastered, which I, was no, I wasn't thinking was ever going to happen. So there's always hope, guys. There's always hope. <laughs> What? <laughs>